It's been a while. Hi guys. I'm Elizabeth. This is my channel. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm going to start off with excuses. Well, an explanation at least. So, the last time you saw me was this big announcement video and then nothing really occurred of that. What happened here was I got a little freaked out that if I continued making videos on this channel, if my videos were still public on this channel, anyone searching for me on Google, like a potential employer or whatnot, would be able to find it. And I was embarrassed. Because there's nothing wrong with my channel. There's nothing on here that I would be embarrassed about and about talking about to a potential employer. It's just... I didn't really want to have it come up, so I privated all my videos, made that one announcement going to the new channel that I made, and that lasted for about two days. <laughs> I did feel like I really wanted to make videos again, but I just didn't want it to start over, and I'm inherently very lazy, so that was just a lot of work. And then so I just stopped, I was like, I'll just stop making videos altogether, like, it's not that important to me, everything will be fine, whatever. It's kind of important to me. I really miss making videos. I really miss talking to the camera and talking about books. So I am reviving this channel. I unprivated all of my old videos and I am going to start anew this summer. I can't guarantee anything for the fall, but my schedule load for the summer is very light. I don't have a job, just a class and an internship and it's very light so I can handle it and making videos. And next semester, I only have classes three days a week and an internship, so maybe I will be able to continue in the fall. Um, if you guys don't know if you're new or just don't know at all, I am in law school. I'm about to start my second year this fall. So when I talk about classes in school, that's what it is. Anyways, so I haven't made a video about books on here since my January 2015 wrap up. So I have read a good deal of books since January, uh, I think it's something like 29? All together for the year, including January. So I don't know, I've got two big piles of books down here, and I'm going to tell you what I've read since you've last seen me. I'll just say if I liked it or not, I'm not going to give too much of an explanation because who's got the time for that, really? And then I'm probably going to do a TBR video next, so stay tuned for that, but this has been a three minute intro now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the books that I've read. Let's get started. The first book I read for this video was Sex Criminals Volume 1 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. This book is, or this is a graphic novel about people who make this new world, they make time stop whenever they orgasm, it is... R rated, kind of triple X rated to be honest with you. Um, I didn't really like it. I gave it a three stars, I think, something like that. I'm not going to pick up the next volume. The next book I read was The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I gave this book five out of five stars. It was fantastic, amazing, everything about it. I loved it. <sighs> Obsessed with this world, with these characters, everything about it. It did take me a little bit to get into, but once I was into it, I was hooked for good. The next book is the final in a series that you guys know I love, and that is The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead, the last in the Bloodline series, which we have to wrap up Sydney and Adrian's story, and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, I think. It might have been a 4 out of 5. I know I wasn't too entirely happy with the ending, so there was that. But otherwise, it was a good wrap-up to a fantastic series. Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I read this over Valentine's Day weekend, and it was the perfect read for that. I think I gave it like four stars. It's a typical romancy, sweet, sad uh, Nicholas Sparks book, and I enjoyed it a lot. I read The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, the third in the Heroes of Olympus series. Oh my god, why is that so hard to say? So I don't remember what I gave this. I did like it. I have not yet continued on with the series, but I'm considering it soon. This Star Won't Go Out, which is based on Esther Earle's life and her diary, and it's a chunker book. It took me a while, and it's not really a book you can read, like, page or cover to cover, because this is not the kind of book it is. I gave this a three out of five stars. The next book I read was All of the Bright Places by... 
Jennifer Nevin. I've heard so many mixed things about this book. A lot of people didn't like it and I gave it four and a half stars. Like I really enjoyed this book. As you can see, there's a lot of things on here that I tagged because I liked it. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I read it in one weekend. I was very happy with it. I, it was a cute book. Next, I read The Summer Garden by Polina Simmons, the third in the Bronze Horseman trilogy. This was a wrap-up to the series, and it's a chunker, and it took me a while because it is not as fast-paced as the first two books, it's not as interesting as the first two books, but the epilogue was everything I would ever want in an epilogue. Think like Harry Potter's epilogue times like 16 because it was so much better. This book I read was Very Good Lies by J.K. Rowling. This is a published version of commencement speech she gave at Harvard and it is a beautiful book and a beautiful speech and it made me cry and I'm very happy that I read this. And I... Next I read Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. A two and a half stars. I don't know if it's just because it's meant for sixth graders or because I just didn't thoroughly enjoy the story, or because I like the movie better. I don't know. I still think that the ending to this book is a terrible thing to do in a children's book, and it scarred me for life. Next is a book that I am so proud of myself for reading, and that is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This took me so long to read, but I am so happy that I did. Ugh. I am in love with these characters, I'm in love with this world and the story. I did read, or I did watch the first season after reading this book, and let me tell you, it's like watching a 10 hour movie, and it was fantastic, and I loved it, and I gave this a 5 stars because I was so happy I finished it. Next, I read Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi? Satrapi? Marjane Satrapi? I gave it four and a half stars, and if you don't know anything about what happened in Iran in this time, I would really suggest picking this up because it was just, no words, it was good. The next book I read was 12 Years a Slave by Solemn Northup. Two stars. I was not impressed. The story was heartbreaking, of course, and uplifting too by the very end, but the next book I read was The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. This is the second book in the Bone Season series. And I really, really, really like this. It was even better than the first. I gave it five out of five stars. And I was just so happy about this book. And I just want more. And the next one's not coming out for over a year. Like, it doesn't even have a name yet. And I'm very upset about this. This is why I don't get into series until the whole things are out. But, oh, this is such a good series. The next book I read was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This is my very first Neil Gaiman book, and it was pretty good. I gave it three and a half stars. Um, I wasn't really feeling it at the time that I read it, but it was so short that I kind of pushed myself to read it, which is kind of why it didn't get that good of a rating. I read Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, and I gave this book a 3.75 stars, maybe four. I haven't really decided yet. It was really funny, super, super funny, but like nothing happens. <laughs> it is Grace's Guide, The Art of Being a Grown-Up. Oh, Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown-Up by Grace Helbig, who is obviously a very famous YouTuber, and I'm in love with her. I want to be her. I can't wait for her next book. Five out of five stars to this one. It was hilarious. It was informative. It was great and I love it. The next book I read was A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. This book I gave a five out of five stars just because of the coolest plot ever. This is about a love story between two um, college kids except for it's told from 14 different perspectives none of which are the two main characters perspectives. Like there's the two best friends, there's like the bus driver, there's like a waitress, a squirrel. They're ex from a squirrel's perspective at some points, it's great. This is the most original and unique thing I have ever read in my life and I highly suggest you pick it up. I don't care if you don't like love stories, I don't care if you don't like YA, this book is so freaking cool. <laughs> the next book I read was I Was Here by Gail Foreman. This is Gail's for uh, the, the, this is Gail's newest book and I liked it a lot. I gave it a four stars. It wasn't as good as some of her other books that I've liked but I still did like it and it's, it just, it wasn't monumental. I don't really have much else to say about it. In the course of two days, I read 
to all the boys I loved before and P.S. I Still Love You, both by Jenny Han. This is a duology? Maybe there's another book? I would be totally okay with there being another book. Um, but these are an adorable little series and they're so pretty together. Um, they're YA contemporary, short, fluffy, adorable summer beach reads and I highly recommend them. I gave five stars to both. The next book that I finished this year so far was A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Let me tell you guys, I struggle bust through this. I, I gave this three stars because it was still okay, but it wasn't my favorite so far. Finally, the book I finished last night is We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. Wallach? Wallach? This book um, is about a bunch of teenagers who are part of this, they live in Seattle and there's this comet, Ardor, which is not a comet, it's a meteor or an asteroid or something and it's like coming down to earth and is going to destroy the earth and it's like how they change who they are and I gave it two stars because it was terrible. The uh, characters <laughs> were two dimensional. There was barely, I mean, they, they developed, but they developed very predictably. It was dumb. The conflict wasn't a real conflict and it wasn't addressed enough. And then the end was stupid. I didn't like this book. That's it. Those are all the books I've read since I talked to you guys last. And I promise I won't be gone for long this time. I already have another film. I already have another video I want to film today. I hate outros. Outros are so hard. I don't know like what to talk about. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and edit this and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked seeing me. Blech. I hope you like that I'm making videos again. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite read of this year has been so far. Mine was definitely the mime order. Um, just let me know and if you have any suggestions of videos you'd like to see from me. I can do that. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Can you guys hear that?